Next up, we're going to be making this square over here, which is for our main jewelry holder, the big frame, and these little squares on the side here for the ring holders. So go into Tinkercad, select box with the void, place it there, make it 10.3 by 10.3, and then make the height. 10. Once you have that, click out and then select the ruler, click on the circle in the middle until you get something like this. So it's going down and going to the right, like this. You want to move it to the top left corner of your base. Maybe change the color so we can see more easily. That's perfect. And now you want to move your void box into your base. And then check your drawing. So it is 30 millimeters from the left and 20 millimeters down from the top. So 30 and 20. That's good. And then group them together. Should get something like this. And now the other three squares, click on your circle again until the lines go down and to the left. And then move it to the top right corner. Select box, place it there, check your dimensions, it's going to be 5 by 5, 5 and 5, and the height is going to be 10, and now you want to move it until you get 8 from the right to the left and 10 from the top to your actual square. So 10 here and 8 over here. And then you want to duplicate it and move it down using the arrow key on your keyboard. So first make sure that it's side by side like this. So this is 15, check your drawing. So the space between the two squares are 10. So we change this to 25. As 15 add 10 is 25. And then we do the same. And it should automatically do that for you when you press duplicate for the second one. And group them together. And that's your base done.